Hey guys, it's SD. It's been a long time since I posted a video. I've been in and out of the hospital dealing with that uh, COPD. Had a real bad uh, flu. I just got out of the emergency room late last night. So Anyway, there's the uh, little axial Belgrade axial flux wind generator input real quick. That was a uh, I just cut the tail end of it. I just turned the camera on, but there's that one. There's the input from the Freedom. I don't even think the bleeds have spin up yet. That was a, uh, sorry if you guys can't see it. It's a 23 mile an hour gust. It's down to 13 now. Uh, average wind speeds are four. There's the 23 mile an hour gust I got right there. Uh, right now I'm 13 miles, but this is super dirty wind. Let me show you guys what we got here. Get this huge tree right up here. That's uh, coming out of the north. Uh, real light rain right now. Got another tree that's just off to the south, just a little bit by the Freedom. Uh, it's turning and tracking. Uh, I've only seen the blades start to move a little bit once or twice. And again, that can be because of the position, but there's the Belgrade Mini one right there. It's just, it's kicking. Now there's the Falcon Mach 5 blades from Missouri Wind and Sold on those. And Jeff's new uh, uh, composite blades. They're not quite the diameter of the uh, Falcon. But again, that's a little axial. There's no cogging. Now Belgrade, you guys got to get a hold of him too if you want a little small setup. Uh, it'd be nice if he uh, made the uh, standoffs for the uh, stators maybe another inch or two more in diameter and the same thing for the rotors. The rotors are seven seven eighths. That's small. That's 49 pound pull magnets on that. Uh, they're uh, circular, same size as a quarter. So I got 12 on each of the uh, rotors and uh, it'd be great if I could increase that. But look, he, he works... Uh, and gets these bearings and it just turns into the wind just so easy you look the uh, Missouri wind and solar is pivoting into the wind too but again like it's real dirty wind let me see if I get any input here excuse me I just missed over 10 amps oops that's an 11 mile an hour wind and Still nothing off the Freedom. And there's the brake switch over there. It's not in brake mode. There's the brake switch for this one. It's up. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm just not getting anything. Uh, we had a uh, 17 mile an hour gust there. Oop, looks like my battery's getting ready to go low. So uh, I might have to stop this video. Then I'll come back and make uh, another one. We got really severe wind they sit on the coast up to 70 mile an hour so when it gets down here we get around uh, anywhere between 10 and uh, 25 mile an hour so I'll try to make another video after I charge the uh, uh, batteries on this camera up a little bit more but again I'm still getting input and so far nothing from the Freedom batteries are up at 24.8 there's another little input at 13 miles an hour but that's right straight through some trees so let me go ahead and stop this now again brake switch is not on in this one still nothing let me see if there's any rotation on the blades over there nothing that's pivoting into the wind and there's the Belgrade setup axial it's turning into the winds perfect There's the wind denominator right below it. I don't know what's going on. Freedom's just not cooperating. Not doing anything. Alright guys, I'll start this up a little later on after I get the batteries charged. See you later. Hey guys, it's SD back again. Yeah. Both the wind generators are facing a little south, southeast. No movement on the misery wind and solar setup. 
Bill Bridge still tracking. Let me go in here and see what kind of wind we're getting. It's kind of died down quite a bit. That was a uh, 68 mile an hour wind there. Shows here the max wind we've got. If you guys can see this, it's been 13 miles an hour. It's kind of died off a little bit. Batteries are up to 25.6. Five point four on that charge controller. It was an eight mile an hour wind, and we just got a little bit of input. It was like one point seven there. I know it's boring watching digital readouts. There's some more input from that. Not much. A couple of milliamps. Still nothing on the other charge controller. I don't know if I gotta bring it down or what. It's just not blades ain't moving, nothing. Eleven mile an hour wind there. Trying to come up with a setup <coughs> that produces power. Uh, Ten mile an hour winds. That's what I get around here almost every day. So working on trying to design a setup. And this one here, the Belgrade is really close. If I had to use maybe a little bit stronger magnets uh, from the 49 pound, maybe up to 60, it would definitely be cutting in, uh, making power. So I'm going to get ready to start building another one if the health holds up. So and we got us now down to a nine mile an hour wind. Let's see if we get any input here. Really dirty wind though, coming through all the trees. But I just don't have any other choice. I live in the city. So if I can get power, you guys that live out in the open should have no problem at all. We got two different directions out here that uh, the trees block most of the wind. That's straight over there, just a little off to the uh, southwest on the uh, Missouri Wind and Solar side. And then on the uh, Belgrade one, I got this big monster here that goes way up there. And this other brother and sister behind the back. That's straight north. It's still, that's just a tracking away. And, and I got no movement there. Let's see if I got any input. I keep missing it when I'm out, yeah, outside. Got an eight mile an hour wind right now. There we go. Nine mile an hour wind. 3.2 was the best it went up to. And nothing. The blade still ain't moving on the Missouri wind, so we're a nine mile an hour. So, uh, in, my, in my opinion, the axial is the way to go. Build your own, guys. Build it for what wind conditions you have, and you'll be happy. Kind of go over some of the materials. You can get off, I think it's magnets. Magnets for less, and there's a couple other companies, but magnets for less seems to be about the best company. magnet sales and then uh, depending on uh, your budget you can still build one pretty cheap 
what you want to do is just lay everything out on cardboard for your stator and rotor design and check check all that and build your frame around that to match it you can use uh, uh, trailer axles the, the type that bolt on and uh, have somebody that can do some welding and go to machine shop and have your rotors done there and set up whatever kind of uh, blade system you want I'd like to be able to get those uh, blades that uh, Orlando is using but I just don't think I have the room here for that big a blade so I'm trying to see what I can do with these smaller ones I know I get better output with those but uh, I don't, can't find anybody that makes them about another foot more in diameter Anyway, like I say, you can see over here the uh, brake is not set on. It's set so it should be uh, running in the wind. And I'm not getting anything. No movement, no output, nothing. And this little axial is just kicking butt. I'm changing this whole charge controller out to, to a, another classic like the one right there I mean this is all right for I guess somebody beginning but I had to add a uh, another voltmeter here because this one as it's running it just shuts off it doesn't tell you anything it doesn't put out nothing I mean I've got the uh, shunts here the uh, uh, brake switch I got uh, <clears throat> it's supposed to be in the dump load but it's only two resistors I mean, they sent me that resistor set up for the Missouri Wind and Solar uh, Freedom 2. This one puts out more power, and I told them but that's what I got. Hey, they actually added this for me. This just doesn't come uh, with the setup. You have to go off of this, but once it runs for a bit and it shuts off you don't know what's going on you have to hit a button this is a constant readout this is a constant readout now all right guys well like I say here the next one the winds die down this is coming off the wall and I'm putting a classic up there program my own power curve in then I gotta take the uh, Freedom 2 down and find out what the heck. I mean, it's turning, tracking into the wind. You can see the blades moving on this one. Nothing. They're both facing in. That was a south southeast there. Just turned out. And it's back. Now, this one here, I had the, uh, the old. Uh, I guess some called Raptor blades on there and it had the original tail on there it seemed to work okay wasn't getting a lot of uh, output 10 17 amps sometimes but I mean that was like 25 27 mile an hour winds okay, and then when I put the uh, Falcon Mach 5 blades on the diameter of your blades uh, dictates how long your vein has to be and how much uh, square inches has to be on your tail so when I had the, uh, the stock tail section on there, this would get up like 22 miles an hour. It was The blades were rotating, but then the, the blades would turn parallel to uh, the wind. So I had to put this other tail on there. Still need to lengthen the vein, but uh, that was the only way to keep it facing into the wind. So you can see it uh, tracks pretty good. And that's just a grease. I don't have that flat bearing on though, even though But I'm just not happy with the uh, output on the Freedom. I know that's a lot of you guys, that's all you got to go for because you don't have the uh, means to make one. But check around, there's somebody out there that'll make one for you. Reasonable, reasonable price. I was pretty much stuck with that. I met Belgrade, he helped me out, sent this to me. I got to build him a. Uh, 
stator, but I wanted to really test this one out and make one exactly like it because it's really good output. I only had two different things I wanted to test it out, and I've been in and out of the damn hospital so much it's ridiculous. And as you can tell by how I'm talking, I'm breathing a little bit better. My breathing was so bad it was like I was breathing through a 20 foot straw. Alright guys, well, you can see I took the VOT down, got other ideas for a different setup. I just don't know what's going on, nothing going on with the Freedom, you just, blades ain't even moving. You see how easy this one's turning? Some kind of winds we got for it. Nine mile an hour wind. We've been at it. We've had a gust of 13. Uh, average wind speed is seven, and currently, when you were seeing the blade rotation, it was nine miles an hour, and nothing on that one. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you later on. I'm going to post this on uh, YouTube if I can get everything set up. We'll see you later.